this is a big deal. It just is. Now, listen, when I was growing up before Shear became an Arizona fan, generally Arizona was number one once every couple, three years. Going 10 years, though, uh, and getting back to the apex of college basketball is a big deal. And honestly, this is the best team in college basketball. Uh, Yeah. I, I mean, we've I've I've watched. Shoot, we've we've texted during most games with <clears throat> the top teams in the country. I, I actually disagree. I, your boy Jeff Goodman had said that there's no. My dominant, boy Jeff Goodman. That your best friend Jeff Goodman had said that there's no dominant team. Arizona's that dominant team. Now look, Arizona's going to lose. It's going to lose a game. Right. Right. The schedule is too difficult for it to not not to lose a game. That doesn't mean anything to me. It, right. when, when I have watched college basketball this year, Arizona is the team that I say to myself, man, this is this is the number one team in the country. This is the number one team in the country, and they also have the least amount of flaws and weaknesses. Let's just talk about some of these top five teams. The first thing is, let's uh, let's talk about Kansas for a second. I think Kansas is awesome. Kansas has no bench whatsoever. Arizona brings in Mount Crevis, KJ Lewis, and Jaden Bradley. Those are that's Arizona's trump card right there, Sheer. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's just and to me the the difference is very simple. Arizona plays hard and goes for the kill. It didn't yeah. do that last year. And even Tommy brought it up against Colgate, where it's like we just kept building and building the lead, and before you knew it, it was 27. That wasn't the case in the past. And there's very few teams in the country that have the ability to do that. And the reason they could do it is they bring in K.J. Lewis, they bring in Crevis, they bring in you know Jaden Bradley, and the overall energy and quality doesn't drop. Uh, not at all. Uh, Andrew Blaho, the uh, the great Andrew Blaho. Uh, Andrew, I will get, we will uh, I will talk about uh, that in just a second. Um, also, um, let's talk UConn now. UConn is UConn is very good. Don't get me wrong, but they're fifth also in the country, by the way, number five, fifth, fifth in the country. Okay, UConn also is not very athletic. Um, Arizona, that to me is kind of their, uh, and again, I know UConn is missing a, a lottery pick, but Arizona athletically is on a different level than UConn. UConn's got some plotters that they didn't have last year. UConn overwhelmed teams last year. UConn is not going to overwhelm Arizona. Arizona's got a better roster. And they're very good. Like, right. like he said, like UConn is a very good team. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, uh, they lack athleticism up front. Um, you know, they, they rely a lot on a guy like Tristan Newman, for instance. I'm not sure Arizona's built that way where it is relying so much on one player that if that one player doesn't perform well, Arizona can't win. Purdue. Obviously, Zach Eady is the best player in the country. We get that. Purdue, Big Ten. I've said this from day one. I still think they're going to go out early. Now, I do think they'll get out of the first round, but. Um, Purdue to me is still just too limited. Let me, I ask people this all the time. How many players at Purdue outside of Zach Eady would be in the top, uh, eight rotation at Arizona? Ooh, I would say two, probably two, maybe three max. Yeah. They've got, uh, I don't know why his name escapes me now. <clears throat> the guard. That's really good. That I actually like. He's good for sure. No doubt. Braden but Smith. I like Braden Smith quite a bit. I think right. he's legit. He's good, but you're you're looking at two players. players. All right, but Braden Smith, I think, would play for Arizona. Okay, you're looking at two players. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Arizona's got better players across the board outside of Zach Eady and Umar Ballo, leader of men. Umar Ballo is going to be very interesting watch against Purdue because uh, Sheer is guaranteed that he's going to eat him alive. And by the way, you guys are asking about Billy Sims. He went to Sunnyside. Um, the uh, all right, yeah, no, I do trust me. I know all this stuff. Um, what's the victory? What's the victory for Umar in that matchup? If if Zach Eady goes for fourteen and eight, oh, it's a huge victory for sure. I just need Umar, on top, right? Yeah, I just need Umar to be able to make him work for everything he gets, and I think Umar is going to be good. I do worry about though. Um, in close games, I do worry about Umar. I think we're going to see teams continuously foul him. Absolutely. Uh, and the Tommy Gunn said that he's not worried about it, but I believe the Tommy Gunn is a little worried about it. Uh, yeah, he's worried about it. You have to be worried about it. You're trying to win basketball games. But um, I, I think part of it is Tommy's not going to go in front of the media and be like, yeah, man, if this dude doesn't hit his free throws, we're screwed. Right. <laughs> like, it's just, that's not how it works. And, and we'll know later in the year 
it's real simple. If Umar's on the court at the end of games, then Tommy still trusts him. And if he's not, then Tommy doesn't. That'll be it. All right. Now we can talk about Marquette. Marquette is better than I thought. Arizona is still better than Marquette. The point guard for Marquette is very good. And the big man from Desert Vista in Phoenix is good. He's long. But I also, uh, Arizona, that's another team where if you were to ask how many of those players in the top eight at Mar- or in Marquette's rotation would play at Arizona, not many. Arizona's the best team in the country. They might not win it, but Arizona's the best team in the country, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I will take the big guy, and I will, I will take your boy, uh, Tyler Kolek, who you said sucks. I did. Um, I, I would take – I don't worry, I didn't think he was very good yeah. at first either, but uh, – <laughs> He's um, good. He's good. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it, it's just one through five. You know, the only team I used to think that could compete one through one through five to me is Kansas. Mm-hmm. Kansas think- one, yeah, Kansas one through five can't compete because you know, here's what's interesting about Kansas: their starting lineup kind of mirrors Arizona's in that um, uh, KJ Adams and Keisha Johnson different, but kind of the same player, kind of the same impact. Uh, McCuller is very good. He's probably a little bit better Pella Larson. Dewan Harris is obviously very good. Caleb Love is better than El Marco Jackson. And Hunter Dickinson, an interesting one, because every time I think that Hunter Dickinson has turned the corner, then he has a Big Ten Hunter Dickinson moment against a uh, player. TLN, you're wrong about that. K.J. Adams is one of the best defensive players in the country. Yeah, and McKellar is a freak. Yes. I mean, he might be the best player in the nation. But Hunter Dickinson's problem is the same now as it was two years ago. Right. He can't guard athletes. He just right. can't do it. You right. get him in space and you pick on him, and and that's how you attack Kansas. UConn did it a bit, and and that's how every team is going to attack Kansas, similar to how Michigan State tried to attack Arizona. You get a guy like Umar in space, but it's different. I, I think Umar is a better defender than uh, Dickinson. Dickinson has never done anything for me, ever. No, I, I agree. And I was really, really surprised against uh, Kentucky when he had the game that he did because I thought he would struggle in that game. That at least gave me a little bit of a, uh, a little yeah, bit no, of, yeah, I know, but they're still long and athletic, even though they're, even though they're not tall. Um, let's see. Uh, K- TLN, you're wrong about KJ Adams, but you know what? We can agree to disagree. Um, all right. And uh, Houston, uh, last year, Houston would have terrified me against Arizona. Any team that's going to try to pressure Arizona, I think it's going to get absolutely smoked. I think this is the last team in the country that you want to pressure. I don't worry about Houston.